Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be updating a tutorial from the past. So uh, forgive me for going through this really quickly. A lot of this uh, you guys will already know how to do. Um, if you are not familiar, uh, comment down below and I'll do my best to help you or ask on my Discord server. A lot other people may be able to help you there um, figure things out a little bit easier. So I have the procedure all set up, but due to the time restrictions and stuff like that, I was uh, making a full in-depth tutorial will take about 20 minutes. And honestly, I don't think everyone's gonna be watching that all the way through. So I'm just gonna cut down to the basic stuff, explain how the procedures work and stuff like that. So first thing is first, uh, you need your textures, all that set up. Uh, you wanna set your properties and uh, settings to how you want it and depending on what kind of crafting table most of this was more customizable um, to how you want it to be uh, for your tick update you want to set this to zero because you're unless you're using the update tick for something else because uh, this will actually produce lag if otherwise um, the only other important thing that you need to worry about is setting this to block uh, just because vanilla blocks and stuff like that with inventories will usually have that set. Uh, for the GUI and um, right click event you want to select your GUI here. This will basically um, enable the GUI to be linked to the block. It used to be uh, that you would link it in the GUI itself, now it's in the block. You can set up a uh, right click event to basically open it through this button right here. And for your uh, enable tile entity, you want to enable this and then you want to set your slots to 10 and your output slot to 9. Uh, when you have all that done, you can basically just compile that part. Uh, for your actual main recipe, we'll get into that in a second. Um, you want to just create a basic procedure. Uh, I call this one a crafting table or crafting station uh, main recipe. Uh, the crafting station is the type of block that the um, I'm making for the crafting table itself and it's gonna be the main recipe. So I've just basically named that. We'll get into this in just a second. For the GUI, uh, you want to add your input slots for your grid here. You want up to eight of those. And for your output slot, you want to select the red up arrow for your output slot and put that one there. Uh, you might want to decorate your GUI with some uh, text just to make it look a little bit uh, more like at a crafting station. I've listed the name of the block up here and the inventory down here. Uh, for the inventory slots, I generally use uh, 33 and then press tab and that will set the grid pattern to 33. For the uh, title text up here, I usually set that to 28 and press tab and that will align the grid. And for the inventory text down here, I usually set that to 20. Uh, for the button, I have offset it to 30 because it centers it pretty close to the actual, um, actual uh, output slots and stuff. So, when you have all that set up, make sure that you link your um, main recipe to your button. And you can do that by right clicking on it and uh, setting it up by the main. One final note that I should probably add is you want to make sure that it's a GUI with slots as well. Uh, this will allow you to put items into the actual crafting station itself. So when you have all that done, uh, you can click save and uh, then we can move on to making the actual recipe itself. So the recipe is uh, pretty straightforward stuff. It uh, looks a lot compli complicated than it actually is. I'm just gonna minimize these so you guys don't get overwhelmed. Uh, it's basically the same thing. So uh, what's happening right up here is it's testing if slot 9, and now remember slot 9 is our output slot, so it's going to be testing if the output slot is less than 64 items. If true, then it's going to test for the uh, pattern of the items in the input, input slots, and you can set uh, regular air blocks to the 
slots that you want empty and uh, just select the items that you want in those positions. Uh, then it's also going to test for two other things. Um, that would be uh, the first one is if slot 9 has the amount of items um, in the inventory if it's equal to or less than whatever number and this number is basically determined by what items you basically um, are adding so if you want to add five items then you have to subtract 64 by 5 and that would be 59 uh, for the other thing that it's doing during the testing for the amount is it's testing for the item as well. So in the, our case, we're basically creating bones from bone meal. So this is testing for if the, there is the same amount of items with the that is equal to or less than 69 in slot uh, 9 RO. If, if that's not true, then it's going to test to see if the slot is error. So if that's that's actually really important because if it's not error, then it's, it shouldn't do anything because we don't want to override items. For the events, it's basically removing all the slot or all the items from slots, uh, the inventory slots. Uh, so zero to one, you can adjust the amount here as you wish, and set the and then it's also setting the inventory to paste the um, the actual number of. Uh, bones or whatever item that you want to add so again this is the number that would be used to put the amount of items in there so if we set this to 4 and update this to 60 um, then this will basically add 4 each time you might want to set this to uh, 4 as well so that would just make more sense honestly because we're making multiple items and stuff like that. You can leave it at one if you want to, but if not, then that's fine too. Uh, for adding multiple recipes though, you're gonna have to uh, basically duplicate this part and then you're going to want to um, basically redo the recipe for the next area or next kind of um, way you can craft it. Uh, there are different patterns that you can get out of your crafting grid. Uh, what we're doing right now is creating a bone through the top layer, middle layer, and bottom layer. So back in here, uh, again, we're just going to update this to 60. We're going to set this to 4. And then we're going to set these to 4. And we're going to do that for our bottom layer as well. So expand, and again, we have set all the other ones to air. So one thing that I should probably note is if you are experiencing a little bit of lag with the um, all the procedures and stuff in here, what you can do is you can collapse the block, just select the main if statement and collapse it, and it should improve performance a, a little bit. So when you're done with that, just collapse all that and save it go back to your main crafting uh, recipe and then what you want to do is go to your main or the advanced tab and place down call procedure and then with the X Y and Z and then you want to select your recipe that you just created for actual recipes so when this is this is the basically the procedure uh, that we're the main procedure that we're basically calling in the button so it's going to be going through all your recipes that you want for that table and say if this one was a different recipe, we would be going like this, and then it would be doing all of them in the, it would be checking from the top to bottom. So that's basically how that all works. Um, you're basically just importing the other recipe into this procedure without needing to add on to a whole bunch of extra lines of uh, procedure blocks and stuff like that. So just make sure to save that and uh, you're good to go. So let's hop in game. So the first thing that we need to do is basically test to see if the procedure is working properly. You can click the craft button and it shouldn't do anything. Uh, the next thing that you want to do is just make sure that your numbers are working properly and it looks like there is a little bit of an issue with it not removing or checking for the amount of items. I will do an advanced tutorial and uh, provide actually, actually I'll provide a working copy of um, a number, uh, a different procedure 
for the recipe that you can use to check for the items as well. Um, I'll put it at the end of the video, but um, just b basically show them what to do. But uh, for the most part, uh, our recipe looks like it's working. It's just that's not working part, part, that part right there. So in all technicality, if we were to have one, it should craft four and remove four. And if we have, uh, say, five of these in here, then it should leave one there. So it is working efficiently. It's just it's not um, determining if there's enough items in the um, recipe to basically craft. So I'll fix that and provide it in the workspace um, uh, basically project files. So the last thing we need to do is just check to see if that's working and it is. So that's basically all there is to making crafting table. So I'll hop back in in just a second to get that all working. So all I've really done to make this uh, basically check for the amount of items is for any items that you actually have in your your crafting grid, uh, you want to set that to the amount of items for what you were removing. So for this, uh, we're removing uh, for slot zero, slot one, and slot two, which is our recipe items. Uh, we're going to be removing four of those. Uh, for the bottom items down here, uh, what we're basically doing is uh, we have air blocks, so we want to set these to zero because air blocks don't actually stack for some reason. So we're just testing if it's equal to or less than zero and then it will make sure to run properly. Uh, you can also, uh, probably a good thing to do is just um, set the slots that you're not going to be removing items from to set to those to zero, so you don't actually, for some reason, remove items that are actually not, if the grid's not working properly. But uh, I'll hop back in and show you how it all works. So if we're just to test uh, quickly the um, recipe, we're gonna set this to, Five items each as you can see it only removes four now and if we try crafting with only one then it's not going to work so as you can see that little extra procedure bit works fine just make sure to if you're using air blocks to determine if there's empty slots just make sure to uh, have it so it's the actual inventory uh, amount is set to zero or greater than and it should work fine so hopefully you guys found today's uh, tutorial useful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.